Hi guys, thanks for joining me. On today's video, we are going to talk about downloading a font and using glyphs from the font. Now, if you're not aware of what glyphs are, they're the cute little fancy characters that aren't part of a regular alphabet in the font, and they can make your projects just really special. So let me show you where you can find a lot of free fonts. You just go to defont.com. Now the font that I want is called Bertilda. So I'll search for that, and here it is. I'll go ahead and download that, and I will tell it that I want it on my desktop. Now it's gonna go over here to the right, so you probably won't be able to see it, but I'll click Save. Now that it's saved to my desktop, I can just close that out. So I'll drag it over. When I let go of it, it's going to plop right back over to the right out of your viewer view, but I wanted you to see what it looks like. Double click on that folder, and here we go. So you have two options. You can either download the True Type Font TTF or Open Type Font OTF. I use OTF, so I'll double click on that, and then right here it says Install Font. You click on that. Now notice over here, all you see is the alphabet. To see the glyphs, you have to click right here on a Mac. Now if I scroll down through this, see all these cute little swishes that are on the left and the rights of your letters? Those are called glyphs. They're just extra characters. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now on a Mac, the way you can find all your fonts is to click on what's called a font book. It's in your applications, or if it's not there, you can download it as an application. If I look at all fonts, then it shows me everything. Everything that came on my computer plus what I've added. These are just the ones I've added since I got the computer. And on a PC, you have something very similar called a character map. Now that I've downloaded this font, we're going to open Cricut Design Space and see if it's available to me yet. It was already on my computer. I downloaded it earlier, and then I deleted it so that I could show you how to download it. So if, when you click here on the text tool, and you go up here to the fonts, if the one that you downloaded doesn't show up, shut your computer down, start it back up, and it should be there. In my case, it's already there. So I'm going to click on Bertilda, and I'm going to type the word thankful. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is get those letters so they're touching. So I'll decrease the letter spacing. That looks pretty good right there. Now you are going to have to ungroup these so you can delete the T and the U. So I hit ungroup and I want to actually move this one over. If I weren't getting rid of this L, I'd move it. If I weren't getting rid of the T, I'd move it also. But I am so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, I'm going to make it a lot larger. really want you to see the details. Now, I'm going to duplicate this so at the end we can compare what we're making with what we already had. I'll just kind of get it out of sight for now. To use the glyphs, what you have to do is you go back to your font book and you highlight the font that you want, or you highlight the character that you want. In my case, I'll start with the T that has the swish to the left. So I click on it, then on my keyboard I'm going to hit Command C for copy. I'll just go ahead and minimize this for now. Then to paste this in, I have to hit text again. Now I'm just going to hit Command V and paste it in. See down here? That's what it looks like. Notice up here it just looks like a square, but it shows up correctly down here. Before I delete this T, I'm going to make this pretty big, just lay it over it so that I get it about to the right size. That looks pretty good right there. Now I can delete my old T and put my new one up in place. I think it looks pretty good right there. I didn't leave enough space. I'll just move this over. Now I should be fine. 
There we go. So let's go back to the font book. And this time, I'm going to find the L with the swish to the right. So just click on it, Command C for copy. We will hit text and then Command V. Again, it doesn't look like much here, but if you look here, you see it's beautiful. So let's see if that's about the right size. Maybe a little bit taller. Okay, that looks good. So just move it out of the way to delete my old L and put it up in place. That's gorgeous. Now, of course, the last thing you probably want to do is go ahead and select everything and weld it together. Go ahead and move this up so we can see what they both look like. There's our final product. Isn't that cute? This is pretty, but this is just really adorable. So if you've never used glyphs before, play around with them, see what you can do. They really can add a lot to your projects. Until the next video, take care. Bye-bye.